Are you getting more and more people looking for GIS solutions and coming to you? Are you sick and tired of ending up with solutions that end up compromising your system or really just aren't meant for GIS, but you still feel like you should be doing them? Well, you need to start saying no. There's not a GIS solution for every single problem that's out there because not every single problem deals with location. And even though location is extremely powerful and is does a wonderful things to our data, sometimes it just isn't the answer. So I'm going to give you some questions that you need to be asking when you're approaching new projects and developing your plan to see is GIS really the right solution? So hi everybody, I'm Katie Scheuer and I started Project Spatial to increase your spatial impact. And today I wanted to dig in the power of saying no. <laughs> saying no is really, really hard, especially if you have spent so long trying to gain traction to implement GIS into your organization beyond just the map keeper role. So if you're trying to really embrace everybody in your organization, you might start end up taking projects that you really shouldn't be taking on. And it's okay to say no. But how do you know if this is really a project you should be saying no to, or if it's something that you really should be taking on in GIS because it is going to make your system stronger? Well, here are some questions that you should start asking. The first question that is sometimes really can be the game changer is, is this gonna compromise the system? Is this a project that is going to have security issues? Is it going to open up doors to your system that you haven't thought about before? Are you going to be doing a public application or are you going to be integrating with a new system? Does your data need to be behind a particular firewall? Or can you give that information to contractors or the public? These are questions that you need to answer when somebody asks you to provide more information and to open up your data system. Along with security, is this going to change your licensing levels? If you're trying to get more people to edit and more people to use the data, you might need new licensing levels, which will increase the cost of your, pro your production and make your project more expensive. Along with is this gonna compromise your system is, does this even have a geographic component? I have gotten asked numerous times to implement projects that are based on really document organization, information that is nice to have and can link to GIS, but isn't necessarily something that I want in those geographic components because it is going to weigh down the performance of my system. So sometimes, GIS isn't the right answer because you wouldn't be using the map to access that information or you shouldn't be using your graphical data to store that information. It just doesn't make sense. Make sure that you're really asking yourself, does this enhance the data that I am taking care of already? Or can this be used in a different way and just maybe linked up for those one or two times that you need it? The next one to ask is, who's gonna be impacted by this? Sometimes we'll get a request from one particular department manager and they don't realize that by providing them that solution, I am now adding other tasks to another department because they have to input this information, they have to maintain this information. That can make a big difference in whether or not a project is able to go forward or it's gonna fall flat. You need to have all of the people that are going to be impacted by the solution as far as who's going to enter the data, who's going to maintain the data, and who's getting the results in the end. And they all have to be on board with this project, otherwise it's not going to work because somebody in that flow of information is going to break down and see it as not valuable. And so therefore that project is not going to be sustainable. The other component of that is do you need to add training to this project? Because if you have people that are now taking on new roles or doing something different than they have before, they might need the appropriate training or they might need the appropriate resources to be able to do that work, 
to be able to capture that data, to be able to store that data or communicate it back to you so you can integrate it into your system and then give the GIS projects. If you guys are getting value out of this, please give this video a like. I would really love to have you back, so make sure you hit subscribe down below. It really does help me spread the word about GIS and it also helps you increase your geospatial impact. The next question you need to ask is, is this project sustainable from a geodatabase standpoint? What I mean by this is when when we're taking on new projects, a lot of times we're taking on new data and new maintenance of that data. Well, that can sometimes exponentially grow depending on the project. If you're creating a new report or a new map or a new dashboard or something like that, that you are going to be creating all of this new information because you're tracking something that you've never tracked before. If you are all of a sudden creating thousands more records at a time, that is going to impact your geodatabase stability and it's going to impact how much memory and infrastructure you need to be able to support all of that. Make sure that you have the infrastructure and the back end to your geodatabase to not lose performance just because you took on one more project. The next question that you really need to ask yourself and sometimes can be hard to understand, is the return on investment feasible? There is a lot of setup that goes into setting up a new project and sometimes it's just not worth it to get that one piece of information. Is it going to change how they do their process? Is it going to change a business value? Are they really going to change their decision based on that information? If it takes you several months to be able to investigate something and come to a conclusion and then it doesn't impact the business at all, why did you just spend all of that time creating this project? Make sure that you are getting the business value out of whatever projects you take on and don't be afraid to say no. Another question that I want you to be asking while you're developing this project and developing, should I take this on or should I not take this on? <laughs> Think about the documentation. Small projects you want to make sure that are documented well so you understand what you did and if it needs to be repeated somebody else can be able to repeat what you did. Larger projects are going to take a lot more documentation and therefore a lot more time. So that is going to increase your labor costs even if it doesn't impact the rest of the company. So that needs to be factored in the decision and I am guilty of this as much as anybody about not keeping up my metadata and not keeping up my documentation because I just wanna get that project done so I can move on to the next one. If you have too many projects and you're not able to document them, then you need to start saying no and start coming up with a plan of when you can take on some of those projects. I wanted to jump in here real quick just to let you guys know that if you are watching this on Wednesdays when I release this video, make sure to check out the description down below. I have a link there to the GIS Success Leadership Summit. This is a summit that I was involved in actually on Tuesday, right before this video came out. I'm pretty sure you guys can go on there and see the recording of that session if you would like to, but there are a ton of great speakers with this leadership summit and you really should be checking it out. So check out the link below. GIS is a wonderful tool and can be utilized for so many different things for communication of data and impacting workflows and really joining an entire company together. But if you're constantly taking on projects that compromise your system, open up security issues, or just bog everything down because of the amount of data that you're importing, you're not going to have that system working well and people are gonna stop relying on it. Make sure every project that you take on is sustainable, the people that are need to be involved are involved. You have the infrastructure and the security and the capabilities to take care of it. And it really is going to give you that business value that you are looking for when you're implementing GIS solutions. So I hope all these things that help cleared up when you should be saying no and what great projects you really should be focusing on. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.